What's up you guys? It's Michelle here. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to flip through my bullet journal that is somewhat completed, so stay tuned if you want to check it out. So I've been working on this for quite some time, probably a year, and a lot of love has gone into it and just spreads done here and there, some on playing with me videos, but I'm going to flip through what I have. And before I get started, this is a happy planner bullet journal. I'll include my affiliate link in the description, and I appreciate your support so much when you shop through that link at no extra cost to you. Not only this, you can shop for anything through that link at Happy Planner. So that will be in the description. But this is sort of like a commonplace journal. I started that a while back with a different journal. But uh, if you haven't heard of a commonplace journal, it is something where you just write down all of your tidbits, things that you want to remember, um, quotes, song lyrics, movie lines, lists, anything that you can think of. So that's what this is because a lot of people ask me what I write in it. So this one mostly is just that. Things that I find that are interesting to me or motivating, inspirational that I want to look back on and remember. And I have so much fun creating the spreads. So some of these are filled out as far as uh, the writing and everything. Some of them are still spreads that are ready to be written in, and I was going to wait until I filled it up, but who knows when that will be. So I'm already on my second bullet journal. I have several that I've started on, including this would be my second happy planner dog grid journal or bullet journal. And then these two, this was my original journal. I started as a commonplace journal and this is an Archer and Olive. So when I get through those filled up, I will definitely flip through those, but this is the first one that I have completed or almost completed. And I'm so excited to flip through it because I love looking through it just at my leisure. Okay, and I'll try to tell you what I used for each specific spread if I can't remember and it's something that you're really interested in, just uh, comment and I will definitely find out what it is and give you a link for it. This is the Happy Planners Wellness book. It's this called Organic Wellness and I love it still. So I need to get back to this because I just love like the boho kind of natural vibes. And I just, when I create each of these spreads, I don't generally know what I'm gonna write in them. But in this one, I just did some box clusters and some mild liner in the color cream and wrote some really inspirational quotes that I had screenshotted from Instagram or found somewhere. And just love coming back and reading these when I just need a little motivation and inspiration. And then this is the Happy Planner, the Wild Type, this that's a fairly new book. And I just, I remember having so much fun and really relaxing creating this. Most of these, I did not do a plan with me. I just do them like when we're watching TV, just real slow and chill. But you know, created a border here and then wrote down this really amazing quote that a friend posted on Instagram. It says, life is amazing and then it's awful and then it's amazing again and in between the amazing and the awful, it's ordinary and mundane and routine. Breathe in the amazing, hold on through the awful and relax and exhale during the ordinary. That's just living, heartbreaking, soul healing, amazing, awful, ordinary life and it's breathtakingly beautiful and I just get chills when I read that because it's so true. And then this is another uh, wellness book or like a fitness book from the Happy Planner. And then also, I think this was from Life is Sweet. But, so, and I remember I was in Memphis when I created this. Just takes you back to that time and just positive quotes that I really liked. And this was the cottage core florals from the Happy Planner and just lots of box and circle clusters across the middle. And these are planty thing boxes and just little washi strips. Again, just wrote down things that I love and wanna refer back to. And this was that Woodland Happy Planner book. Love the gold quotes and just titled it Little Things That Aren't So Little and just listed some things that are just super fun little happy moments. 
And this is one I did a reel with, and it's a gratitude journal, and I just listed very simply in these little floral wreaths that I drew lines and strings from and just wrote something I'm grateful for in each circle. This one, I think I spent a lot of time on this. It came from a lot of different elements. Uh, these wrong, wrong books that, they're actually not wrong, wrong books, but it's something she carried on her website, and I don't know if she still does, but it's, um, just all these different little images you can cut out. They're not pre-cut. And some little tickets and things that I cut out from scrapbook paper. My sweet friend Lila, who is LB Novelties on Instagram, she had posted that her word of the year is romanticized for this year and posted this on her story and I loved it. So I just picked out all these things that kind of went along with the quote, but it says romanticize your life, take pretty pictures, feel like the main character, light a candle, read books, go for a walk, dance to your favorite music, buy yourself presents, do whatever you want, be happy. This is your life, don't let anyone take it from you. And I love the little cat at the bottom with the bow. Isn't that cute? And then this one I did do a plan with me. This is from the washi tape shop, all of the, like the washi stickers. And then added some paper and some torn papers that I think I ordered them from Amazon. And this is a quote and I did it in three different parts. The third part, the main part is in this little pocket that I covered with washi. But it says, it's from Bruce Lee, said, don't speak negatively about yourself. Even as a joke, your body doesn't know the difference. Words are energy and they cast spells. That's why it's called spelling. And then the last part of the quote, change the way you speak about yourself and you can change your life. I put that there and it's not so much about what I journal in here, but just having fun when I create it and finding little places to write things. And then this was uh, some of the Bridgerton book and then just lots of other elements cut out from like little tickets that cut out from scrapbook paper. And this I printed off about um, the Lady Whistledown Society papers. Did some pink mob liner here. And then the main message this says is if you want to decrease stress, start paying attention to your glimmers. Glimmers are the opposite of triggers. They're these, those tiny moments of joy, awe, and peace that cue our nervous system to feel safe, calm, and connected. Once you start looking for them, you'll find them everywhere. And sometimes I don't love the way I wrote in here, but it's what I was feeling at the time. And just to get it down on paper, I love looking back on it. This is another one. Let me grab those books that I used a lot of these from. Here they are. These two that Wrong Wrong sent me. I don't know if she still has them available. I will check. And if she doesn't, then I'll see if I can find them elsewhere. But like I said, they're just sheets of washi type stickers. And you just have to kind of cut them out with your, like your detail knife. And it goes really quick and easy. And if you just use a light pressure, you can pick it up and not damage the rest of the page. So I did use these for several spreads in here and I love just searching through these and finding, see, I cut, cut some of those out. Some of them are like color story. Then this was a growing modestly spread that was like the Paris theme. She has closed her shop, so I, those aren't available anymore, but also just some cards from Tim Holtz and different little ephemera and things. And then this was the happy planner, like the butterflies and blooms, I think it was. Just wrote down uh, in, an inspirational quote. This one I did a reel for, and this is my happy list. Of course, not all the things that make me happy, but things that I could think of at that moment, like handwritten notes, laughing at inside jokes, dancing in the living room, tacos and marks, reading good books, so on and so forth, and just loved putting all the little sparkles and elements. Then this is mostly the, the newest modern farmhouse from the Happy Planner with those like Retro vibes, fruits, love the gold foil, and just some torn notebook papers that I made on the Cricut. And this was the, the book, sticker book from Casthetic Plans. I love all the green on that. 
And this is a mostly wrong wrong from a pet tape spread that had a lot of the like citrus fruits and I found her in one of the sticker books and just drew some boxes, you know, with a straight edge and wrote some things in there and some torn yellow paper, little tickets and things. And then the I love these animals. I think I found these on Creative Fabrica. Or I might not have been on there at that time. I might have just found them on Google. But they're just wild, like, jungle animals and used some of the boxes and wrote some different things in there. I also used the, um, like, Hidden Jungle book from Casthetic Plans for all the greenery and the sparkles and everything. And, like, this page, I think I glued two together because I ended up trying some stamps or something and I didn't like the way it looked. So you can always do that. You can tear out a page, but this is the next page. Again, this is just lots of things I already had, little flower stickers and love these film strips that I got either on Amazon or Sheen Shine, one of those little cats. Again, the same with, actually I think that I used for this, a lot of the Happy Planner florals from this gathered flowers, but then a lot of it is like Tim Holtz, ephemera, little stickers and things. It's just so much fun and torn paper. I have two different torn papers in the corners here, like this sort of stucco or plaster and this pink, like kind of um, ombre paper. But it's fun to just get out all of your, your supplies and just have fun with it and create something. And then this, I think this was, I'm pretty sure this is from the Live Love Posh, one of the botanical books, and then some torn paper that I already had throughout. These frames I ordered from, I think I ordered them from Amazon, but they're little, just little individual stickers and cut the centers out of them because they, they had, you know, that clear over them so I could write things in there and on this I chose to wrote how to glow up in 30 days wake up 30 minutes to an hour earlier make your bed every day water before coffee begin your day with natural sunlight not scrolling your phone so on and so forth and I just looked at this the other day and I remembered water before coffee and make your bed every day which I've been trying to do and then again with the torn I think this is from Cassette, one of the Cassette Plans book. You know how she gives you those solid sheet of sticker paper in a print that you can tear or cut and some more little cards and ephemera. This one I started out with this like white brick scrapbook paper that I got I think at Joanne and just taped lots or glued lots of things in here and these little shiny singular like rose stickers very romantic i love 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 this spread and in this i just wrote it all begins and ends in your mind what you give power to has power over you if you allow it and then i still have room to write something here if i want to just if i find something small to write there and i remember this is from spring things from casthetic plans all the botanicals and uh, the boxes this paper was from something else that i printed and tore up and it's all about like spring projects. Then another from Casthetic Plans. I must have just gotten that book and loved it because it was springtime, but used some of the paper. I did this on a live patron plan with me and we had so much fun because I love getting their input. But the honeycomb at the top and then the torn paper. These, I use these quite often in this kind of spread. They're little sacks I got and just made a card in here and tied this on it and just put some interesting like health facts and things you can do to really reduce stress. Then this, I love, love, love it. This was, I think, I, I know I found this girl on Creative Fabrica, she's so beautiful. And I just filled this in last night. Uh, like I said, I'll do screenshots of things that I find on Instagram and sometimes I'll print them out and tuck them in here. 
but I think I wrote everything down from that one. But this says having days together with your grown children is like visiting the most treasured and beautiful part of your life. And that just really resonates with me because I love, love, love hanging out with the kids as they're grown, especially when it's all three of us together. I just have the best time. And then this is scrapbook paper that I cut into strips and just use some like little zigzaggy scissors. This was on a piece of scrapbook paper and I just hole punched it like it was actually a ticket. It says spring season gardens pass, botanical gardens. I haven't written anything in this, but I remember I was getting ready for Go Wild and it was going to be in Dallas. So I came across all this vintage cowboy stuff and I wanted to make a spread because I think it's so cool. So I have that to write, you know, just a few little things in whenever I get ready. It says Chase Dreams, Not Cowboys and Howdy. I love her. And like I said, found those on Creative Fabrica and just printed and cut them on the Cricut. And this is some Tim Holtz washi. Then this was a Heather Kell, uh, Kell of a Plan spring book, and I used two different scrapbook papers torn. This I'd had forever, and I think this is a newer one, the, the mint green dot that I got at Joanne. So that's ready to be written in, and just added some of the gold foil washi strips. Another one, I did this for Wrong Wrong for a Real, and this is from the party time sticker book and I just love like the Bridgerton vibes and so girly and feminine. But I haven't written in that yet, obviously. And then this, I was in Memphis and my sister got her uh, notary license and she was showing me her stamp. And so I said, well, you stamp it on here and I'm gonna create a spread around it. So it just started with this and then I added some paper and other things I had in that, like the blue color. And I just love, love, love how it turned out. I have also in here, there's places to write things in that card. I do have that kind of glued down because I want it to, it to be sticking up like that. But I definitely can take that out and write something on it if I want to. And then I wrote a fun quote here. Then this was from that large Happy Planner sticker book. The Feathers and Flowers. I think that's what I used for all of it other than like the little sparkles I made on the Cricut. This is a quote I think that came out of one of these. And then one of those little sacks again, seven ways to start your week with more joy and just wrote those on there. And then wrote out a quote there with some green mild liner like that gentle and neutral palette. This is called Olive. I think that's what I used there. And then again, this was a reel for Wrong Wrong using the Midnight Self Care book. And then I just wrote down some self care ideas and also in this little pocket that I added a little grow grain ribbon to. I love the purple and pink there and this girl in the clawfoot bathtub. So cool. I love that. And this was from the Bookworm sticker book from Wrong Wrong along with some paper I already had and also the junk journal book from Wrong Wrong and just put some books that I wanted to read and I still have room to write more in there. And this section is like a little Dutch door section I did, and it's from the Live in the Moment sticker book, which I love, love, love. It's so pretty and classy and feminine. It's got like the black and white roses, and I put a couple of quotes here and just some of the torn stickers from that book. I think everything in here is from that book this book and I'll be sure and have all of my affiliate links in the description and y'all know I appreciate your support when you shop through my links at no extra cost to you but I do have room here to write more and then trimmed that put some more quotes here self-care in different forms here and there's another page that I have plenty of room to write more on and then this that's all from that book. And then this came from the junk journal sticker book from Wrong Wrong. This, and it might have some of the bookworm volume three also. And this was some washi tape I had ordered from somewhere a long, long time ago. 
but I just drew little strings and punched holes in these because they look like little tickets and had them like they're dangling down and here too and with the keys. And then those bullet points and just some dotted lines to journal some things in or write down something interesting. And then here is the New York spread I did with the New York sticker pack. I've only visited New York once, but I had such a great time. And I'm kind of saving this for if I get to visit there again or if I just want to write some memories down about the trip I went on years ago to visit my sister when she lived there. But I love like the pops of color and the yellow highlight. I did this. I think it was at Go Wild when I did this, just kind of chilling out in the room. And then this is from the, the Wrong Wrong Fantastical book. These are, and then this is just some torn paper, torn paper here that I layered. So plenty of room to write some things there. And a Live Love Posh Spring Spread. I don't think I really got done with this because I need to put something else here. But like I said, it's a work in progress. And sometimes I'll just flip through and it'll come to me like I know exactly what I want to put there. Or I know exactly what I want to write there. So then I did a, a plan with me for this. This was inspired by a photo that I saw on the Washi Tape Shop's website. So it's not my idea, but it's it was inspired by that. And it's like a little Dutch door spread also but I used washi tape shop um, stickers, like the washi stickers, and just wrote down different things, natural remedies, and then made a little window here, and you can see the girl in the window, and over here you can see the plant in the window. And this is something I've seen on Instagram several times, but I love it. It says, if you feel like you hate everyone, eat. If you feel like you if you feel like everyone hates you, sleep. If you feel like you hate yourself, take a shower. If you feel like everyone hates everyone, go outside. It's just like, just general advice. And I just, I love things like that. This I started, but I have not finished because I love, love, love 80s music. It's my favorite genre probably ever. And I wrote down a ton of songs here, not super neat, but I actually have a Spotify playlist that I need to refer to and come back because I have lots more room. It again is the Dutch door spread and these are Live Love Posh like black and white essentials washi tape. I found all of these on Creative Fabrica and just made the title 80s playlist on the Cricut. But I love the bright colors like the neon with the animal print. I've got more room there so I, di I didn't finish that but I do plan on coming back and adding all my faves to that. And then this is from the Planny Thing like reading sticker book. And it came also with like a little notepad and I tore the paper there and used some of the washi tape to tape it down as well as this is from that same paper. Like I think it had this on the top or the bottom or both. And so I could use that for books or whatever. Again, this is a planny thing. I love to travel spread. I did the I did a YouTube video for this and this. But this I made a little pocket out of a tiny envelope. And I'm thinking for this, I want to write down places that I really want to go, kind of like bucket list travel places. So I can write on that and then on these boxes as well. But I did some of the papers from that Play Anything subscription that I love to travel. This is this is Tim Holtz like scrap wallpaper scraps or something like that that my sweet friend Wanda sent me on everything except this was a piece of cardstock or scrapbook paper that I found either at Hobby Lobby, I think it's Hobby Lobby, and it had all these frames on it. It was a 12 by 12, but I just cut them out and put them here and wrote down five ways to relieve stress quickly. And this is a wrong, wrong spread. I did just, I think we were on vacation, but I had some yellow, sort of like textured, looks almost like linen uh, paper tore it here and here and from her seasonal book and I just used a glass or a cup, put it down, drew a, drew a circle around it and then moved it slightly in another one so it has, you know, not just a very straight circle and then I, I added more flowers around the edges. Some of them I trimmed and some of them I just let overflow. But I want to write in here, I might do this tonight, but trips that I went on during this summer because this is mostly from this year all of this is from this year, so that would be perfect for this. 
And then I have a spread. This was a Live Love Posh summer book. And again, that same yellow paper that I used there. Just made corners, a little tear here. And this, I think, yeah, I did do a, a video for this. And I have a, a playlist that's like bullet journal spreads. If you ever want to check that out, it's just like all of these kind of spreads. But these are bullet points that I cut in half and just made like a little scalloped border. And then this is the Casthetic Plans. I think this is from Summer Fun, but I love this like desert island paradise kind of vibes. Then I had a reel for this. This is from the the Rong Rong, the Rainbow Girls. And then for the boxes, I used her Rainbow Boxes, but also the Pet Tape, that's the Rainbow Girls set. But I love how it's just one color fades into the next and it's corresponding at the top and bottom. So it goes from red to pink to orange, like rainbow order, um, yellow, green, blue, and violet. And this is a spread that I created with stickers from the small shop called Isabova. And uh, just she sent me some really cool stickers and made this along the bottom and just drew these with that same uh, mod liner in the olive. And these are torn um, pieces of paper that I layered. This one's cut out like, like a floral pattern, just layered it over this neutral. And I do have a plan with me for that. And this is from like the Desert Vibes, or it's called Desert Something, Desert Oasis from Casthetic Plans and some paper torn here. I think I'll probably end up coming back and putting something on here or writing on it or something, but I put a quote that speaks to me there. I have some boxes here, so this one's not really completed yet. And I did a video for this. This is using the planty thing like Floral Beach or something, like the sticker books from the summer and did some boxes and lines to journal on there and did the little Dutch door thing with the flowers cut out around it and some paper. I was in Memphis when I did this, so I didn't have all of my supplies. And I remember thinking, what can I use here? I just cut like the shaded box stickers up to make and piece them together to make it look like green paper there. But that was a lot of fun also. And this was the Planny Thing Make Life Fun washi subscription or I, it, I don't I don't know if it was called Make Life Fun, but it was something like Happy Day or Fun or something. And did all of them in a row here. This is the bag they came in, and I have a video for this also. But made a little card with some little gold twine that I think I got at Hobby Lobby. I have it right here. I use these for cards, and there's gold and silver. I love the gold the most, obviously. But just, I love to tie a little bow on them or a ribbon or something but just wrote a quote that says, the secret is to dance a bit in the morning before you leave the house. It changes the way you walk around in the world. So I just went right along with this spread and these are just all like gold bullet points. This again in the corner is the bag, like the opposite side of the bag that this washi subscription came in. And these came from the Planty Thing uh, Fun Alphabet Sticker Book. And this is from the washi tape shop. It was a seasonal roll and I cut out a spring scene, summer, fall, and winter, and then used some of the little dots that came there and kind of made it fade from green to yellow to pink to blue and wrote down what I love most about each season. This is from the Mystic Babe sticker book from Live Love Posh. And I just finished this last night because I had this saved a screenshot I'd printed off, but it was five amazing body facts, like things five things that I have tried some of them, but just really cool stuff. Like if you're nervous, pinch your nose and you'll calm down. Uh, if you're in a noisy place and want to hear someone talking, use your right ear, just things like that. And then this is from the plant babe or botanist babe. It was called botanist babe and I like the pink and the green and wrote down the benefits of house plants because in the past like five years or so, I've really gotten into house plants. Just drew, this was a little, just a little plant and drew like some hangers from it and lined them up just all around plants everywhere. 
And then that is the last spread I have in there. There are a couple of more pages. I don't know, it is getting quite thick, so I may end up coming back and adding that, but I might just leave it as is. But that is the flip through of my first completed bullet journal and I had so much fun creating it. And like I said, y'all, several of you have asked for a flip through, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for hanging out with me while I flipped through all of my spreads and told you a little bit about, about them. Let me know if you would love to see more of these. And again, you can be sure and check my playlists on YouTube for bullet journal spreads. That's where I have all of these saved. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'd also love it if you considered subscribing and turning on notifications. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.